So, uh, in my last video, did the, uh, the GT5? Yeah, I guess I'm sort of addicted to this now. <laughs> I got the ham bug, I guess. I keep on buying new little things here. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm still learning. Yeah, you know, studying for my license. And, so in one of my other videos, I showed you this, uh, wideband RTL. And I was able to pick up some frequencies down to, like, 60 megahertz, you know? And, actually, my, um... My disco scanner slash ham antenna up on my roof will uh, do down to 25 megahertz. But uh, I wanted to get down to like uh, to the 20 meter band. And I figured I couldn't get down there because I didn't have the right kind of antenna. So, got this on eBay. It's pretty cool. It was like 25 bucks. And actually, I'm not going to put this on my roof. I think I'm going to probably get a different antenna. And maybe build one or buy a different one for my roof. But... Next time I go up camping up in Big Bear, I was going to set this up between two different trees and you know, hook this up to my little tablet. You've seen in my other videos, you know, where I'm doing the R RTL stuff. And um, I want to see if I can pick up some people around the world, you know, like uh, on the 20 meter band. It's getting dark. Yep, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. Oh, and the, yeah, who is this? This guy was a... Uh, probably have purchase has been tested on the air in... That's my, that's my kid back there. So this is the letter the guy wrote. Chicago and 20 meter. Cool. I mean, that's actually, that's pretty cool. This is the guy. Timothy Ortiz. Uh, N9SAB. Uh, I guess that's his call sign. But uh, I'm not sure if that's his eBay screen name or not. But that's pretty cool. Handwritten letter. And uh, yeah, look at this thing. It's kind of like a... Uh, It's a, it's a dipole antenna, but it's, it's it's weatherized, and it seems like it's not really a... I guess you could probably have this set up as permanent, but then it has the connectors here in the back, and uh, so I don't know how long these are, but I'm sure these are pretty long, so I could probably put this in my attic if I wanted to use this, but I might buy a second one and just keep this in my laptop bag, so if I want to go camping or like uh, the chair is a fan, I, I can just grab my... Uh, this antenna, I won't have to deal with it. I'll have this coiled up uh, antenna. But yeah, I said I, I don't know the length of this thing, so I'll try that out. I'll make another video with that one. But um, that's pretty cool. It's 25 bucks. Wasn't that bad. And free shipping, too. So, But yeah, I think I'll just keep this in my laptop bag. as like a, you know, carry me uh, as I go and have a 20 meter, you know, with this RTL, you know. And I also got this uh, on uh, Amazon, too. And this is a... Uh, Free tech support from uh, NPD Digital, and it's like 25 bucks. But this is a, it was like 20 meters. RG58, 20 meter, and PL259 connectors, 25 feet. And then to make this work with, uh, I mean, I, I always buy like assorted little adapters for different things. Like originally, I wanted to hook this up to one of my uh, these these GT5s, these Bayo things, radios. But I think I'm just gonna end up buying a, like a permanent base radio. That way, I can keep these in my car. But oh yeah, here's the, here's the, I had to buy this adapter. So it's an adapter between like the PL239 and the SMA connector. So this that will actually hook me up. To, on this device, you actually have the UHF and VHF, and then you have your uh, HF. So. Interesting that the HF has to go to a separate antenna. So that my original goal at buying this was to actually have this, you know, I'd have my disco antenna on the UHF, VHF, and then I'd have this dipole 20 meter on this HF and just kind of kind of experimenting with like listening in the, the 20 meter. You know, and then eventually one day maybe purchase a uh, like a real base base unit, you know. I think I'm pretty decent like the like use the ACU ones. They're not like older ones, they're like almost like three about three hundred bucks. But uh, yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be like. I mean, this is just kind of a hobby for now. Like I said, it's it's kind of fun, you know. But uh, yeah, that's the guy I got it from. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool looking. Like I said, the fact that it's so compact, I might just keep it in my laptop bag. You know, keep a roll to keep this roll and this thing and the adapter in my laptop bag, and get like a or maybe buy a second one of these. I don't know. So, I don't know, maybe you guys can comment on this, you, the guys are, you know, been doing ham forever. Like, should I put this on my roof or not? I mean, I don't know if I want to put this on my roof, or in my attic. 
I mean, I don't know. I guess for about it's probably thirty to forty feet. I guess I have to measure these things, but it's probably thirty to forty feet across. You know, like the top of my roof from one side of the house to the other. So, all right, cool. Having fun. I can see that, but I have a. Uh, I have this RTL dongle. This is my first attempt to get uh, HF. So, in this next video, I'll show you um, my the dipole antenna, like another video I showed you. I'm gonna have it on the roof. It's probably not mounted correctly, and I'm sure uh, if you guys have input on that, you know, like I said, I'm just learning this stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep it away from metal, I guess, and trying to keep it as straight as possible. So, I mean, I'll see if I pick up anything, but uh, so yeah, now it's cool as I have a dedicated antenna. 20 meter dipole for uh, HF. So hopefully I pick up something. And then, uh, yeah, I'm actually looking at radios on eBay right now. Some HF radios. So maybe ICOM or something, you know, bigger one. But uh, yeah, kind of cool. Kind of a fun hobby. So, all right. So next video, I'm going to be going into SDR Sharp and to see if I can uh, pick up some HF uh, 20 meter signals. So, all right.